Hello, researchers. Today, we're thinking about lifting the level of our questions to drive research forward. So at this point, you already should have some research questions that you're using to drive your research forward across multiple texts. So if you haven't thought of a research question or questions, you might want to take a moment to do that right now. The way that I did that in class is by using the tool that I showed you different levels of questioning. So you could check out that video um, or that tool, or you might just take a moment to think across the subtopics or articles that you've already read on your topic. For instance, if I'm thinking about climate change, I might take a second right now to go to my Padlet and just see, well, what have I already been noticing across this topic, climate change? What are some possible subtopics patterns I've seen come up as I look across. Let me quickly show you what I mean by that. So right now I'm looking at my Padlet and I'm thinking about how I've been reading a lot about different activists for climate change, um, in particular youth activists and what they've done. I've also been thinking about how different parts of the world have been affected by climate change. And I've also been thinking about how um, there seem to be like a lot of ways we could fix this problem, like tons of ways. So I'm thinking of the, these are just some patterns some things that seem to keep coming up over and over again as I look across my Padlet. So now going back to like what questions I could be asking, maybe I'll ask one about what are some things that youth activists for climate change have to know or what are some challenges they face? Maybe what are some of the effects of climate change and how is it different from different parts of the world? So questions that definitely include some of the things I've already read, but push me a bit further along. So these should be some big questions. Okay, now working my way back over to my note-taking document, which you have as well. So if you have yours open, great. You wanna look um, at yours to see if you can maybe make a plan just like how I'm making a plan for mine. I'm taking my research question and I'm thinking about the best ways I now can tackle my research. I want to take my big question um, and apply it to maybe a search engine like Newzella, but I don't want to just take this question and plop it in because if I do that, I don't know if I'm going to have the same, the best luck because it's so specific. So for instance, let's just try it and see what happens. Okay, I've got some stuff. It all seems to specifically be about Greta. I know that there, oh, there's more too. Okay, so I have some things that seem to be a wide range, but now I'm also getting some things on just youth activists that are not related at all to climate change. So maybe rather than using the whole question, I think about some key words I could use. So I definitely want to use my topic, so climate change, and then maybe the subtopic I'm going for, so youth activists and climate change. Okay, now I see some articles that are really geared towards climate change and, and kids in one. So as I'm looking across, I'm definitely seeing, I might just click the save button on these. So I make sure it's saved so I can come back to it. Do you see how by thinking about a big question, but then using my question to come up with keywords, I'm able to narrow down my search. The question though is important because it's gonna help me to evaluate these articles as I go through them. So this one right here, a, a win for the kids, fighting climate change in court, my keywords led me to this, but my big essential question is gonna be the thing that helps me to know if I should stick with it. So I'm trying to figure out how do climate, how do um, youth activists for climate change um, handle some of the challenges or what challenges do they face? Let me just use this question as I look across and see. Supporting human life, difference of opinion. Hmm government accountable. So it seems like maybe it will, it will handle some of those, those issues that, that youth activists face. Let me see if there's another one that's better. Do you see I'm using my question to make sure that the article is good enough for me or good enough for my big question or subtopic? Let's see. 
Let's try this one about Greta. Okay, activist Greta Thunberg gives blistering UN speech on climate change. So she was looking really angry and frustrated. Um, and she's also speaking, it seems like at a big event. So I'm thinking that maybe she's frustrated. Maybe it could have to do with the fact that she's a kid and maybe some of the challenges she's facing just being a kid in this big political arena. Let's just take a look and see. Empty words says youth activists. So she's criticizing the leaders for these like empty words, not giving, not really sticking to what they mean. Ooh, I'm just scanning the page. However, political re leaders response to youth protesters is so weak that I am distressed, she said. The response is we are listening, but I think they are tone deaf. Whoa, so it seems like Greta's specifically talking about the challenges she's been facing, especially when it comes to standing up for climate change or standing up to do something about it and how she hasn't really gotten far with some of these adults in these big um, leadership roles. So I definitely wanna save this article and I might even click the share button, copy the link and then add it to my notes so that I can come back to it when I start reading in a little bit. So some key terms I used, I use climate change, youth activist. I could have maybe used challenges they face, but the question helped me to make sure that the article was gonna be a good fit for my interests and also for the subtopic that I'm already starting to research on. So by having a question in mind to guide you and having some keywords there to keep you on track, you'll most likely find articles that will keep your interests and also to help you to stay organized and collect information that will eventually help you to elaborate on some subtopics that are important to you. So I hope that you use these strategies, research questions, keywords, and also search engines as you're working on your um, independent and club research. I can't wait to see what you find.